Hey everybody, this is Roberto Blake of RobertoBlake.com helping you create something awesome today. So in today's video, um, in terms of a YouTube tutorial, we're going to talk about something that's really overlooked a lot by many of you in your YouTube channels. Now, I've actually been doing YouTube audits for people as part of consulting, and I've been finding the same thing that I find when I give you guys individual advice on things you can do to improve your YouTube channel, even when I just do a five minute glance at it versus the extended audit that I do for my clients, I'm finding there's a particular overwhelming issue that I addressed a little bit in my how to get 1000 subscribers in YouTube video, and it has to do with your uh, descriptions. Obviously titles, descriptions, and tags are very important to YouTube, but I think a lot of you are being lazy about your descriptions, and I think you don't understand why that's bad. So if you guys look at the descriptions for my videos, almost none of them are less than 100 words. Not 100 characters, 100 words. But many of them are between 300 to 600 words, almost a whole blog. And aside from wanting to be able to take content from that and move it over to my blog when I post a video over there later at robertoblake.com slash blog, there's a bigger reason why I do that. It's because from doing blogging and being able to get um, things like my article on the best laptops for Photoshop into the first page of Google, competing with huge, huge um, publications online and still getting into the first pages of Google for stuff like that, or you know, um, how to build a Photoshop PC or whatever, I can rank on the first page of Google for that based on the same things that I'm applying to my YouTube videos to get on the first page for content there in YouTube as well. And it comes down to having a good title, a good description and using the tags properly. And so we're gonna focus on YouTube descriptions in this video. You need to have at least 100 words, but I would recommend 300 or more in the description of your YouTube videos. And here's why. When your videos are showing up in YouTube search, YouTube recommended results, YouTube recommended channels, the YouTube guide, the only reason that it has to show up is to figure out whether your content is relevant or not to what that user is interested in and what's in their search history. And the only way it's gonna do that is based on text. YouTube may be a video platform, but it still needs text to decide whether a video is relevant or not to what people are searching for. And majority of your views are going to come from YouTube search, not just from your subscribers, what few you might have, depending on where you are, or you know, from anything else, recommended videos and search results and all the other features in YouTube that are going to make up about maybe 60 or 70% of where your views are coming from are based on information that is in text. And the biggest source of information in terms of text for your YouTube video to have context and relevance is in your description. So when you're lazy on your description, you're hurting yourself and that's why you're not ranking in search. That's why you're not getting you know, recommended videos for your channel being on the right hand side of other related content because it doesn't know what to tie your videos to. So at the end of a video when all the grids pop up and it's, oh, this recommended video, your video is not there on someone else's channel or someone else's content for exactly that reason. So what you need to do differently about that is you need to make sure that you take the title of your YouTube video and that you put that in your description. That should probably be the first thing in your description. That's what I've been doing if you haven't noticed it. I also like to put the link to the video in the description, but that's my preference. I have reasons for that that I think work and it hasn't been working against me. So I think that that's a good thing to do. Maybe you don't lead with that, but again, your call there. And don't make your description text spammy. Make it something that if someone were to read it, that they would have context for what the video is. Another thing that you could do that I will talk about more in depth in a video is go ahead and do closed captioning for your videos because the text from that is gonna help you in YouTube search as well. But more importantly, other people are gonna be able to use your content, find it, understand what's going on, and YouTube is more likely to promote it as a result of that and the increased views in terms of closed captioning. Well, I hope this helped you understand the benefit of actually writing description text and why mine is so long instead of short. And again, maybe people read it, maybe people don't. Maybe you were thinking from that terms of perspective, but overall YouTube uses it to market and promote your videos. So just kind of keep that in mind and understand the value of it there. Anyway, if you still have questions, leave those in the comment section below. Like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe, check out the other awesome content on the channel. As always, you guys, thanks so much for watching, and don't forget, create something awesome today.